A disclaimer for the beginning of the video. Wait till the end for the crazy stuff. Oh. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's Francis. Today we're doing something a little bit different because I never really do mukbangs. I always feel a little bit awkward doing them, but they're fun and a bitch was craving canes. I never had it and then it changed my life, like Cole made me eat it. At first I didn't love it, and then probably like the second or third time I started craving it. The sauce to me is like crack. It's so good, like it's so addictive. We know how to make it. We've like made it at home, we've made it vegan. We like put it on other things as well. But it's been a while since I took a ridiculous amount of edibles and just <laughs> made a fucking video. So we went over to our local trap shop. We found some shit that exceeds the local guidelines when it comes to milligrams because 100 is not enough for today's video. We're gonna do times 10 <laughs> or literally a thousand, thousand deep. And I don't wanna show the packaging because YouTube is so fucking finicky. They're ridiculous. I don't know what is and isn't allowed these days, but what I will tell you, I don't know what they're really called. It says F-K-E-M-O-M-G designer cannabis gummies get knocked the fuck out that's what it literally says on there and there's 10 pieces they're 200 milligrams each so i'm gonna take five of these this is not for the faint of heart this is not for the low dose consumer i know that this is ridiculous behavior i always get at least a couple comments that are like you're giving stoners a bad name listen <laughs> i may be i know my tolerance and this will get me faded, but it's not gonna go into a crazy realm. We'll be good. Fuck it, I'm putting on the AC on low. I'm sorry that you guys can definitely hear this. I apologize. So I wanna wait for these to hit me, so I think we're gonna go like walk around like a little shopping area, and then we're gonna go to Kane's. One. I'm just gonna eat them quick. As soon as I'm on camera, I always feel like it takes forever to chew anything. Two more. Mm. These are like melon flavored. They're like bitter. Mm. It's definitely edible, but I don't love the taste. Like it starts out good, it's promising, but then by the end of it, your tongue has this weird yeah, bitter. There's no other word for it. It's worth every bite. This is how much I take. You ready? You see this? That's it. I'm being responsible. I'm driving. There's a cut on my finger. This is me, chilling, sober, and we'll check back in. You guys know the drill, or maybe you don't. You could be new, in which case, welcome to the fam. <laughs> okay, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Should I eat one more for good measure, guys? A little 1200. We decided we're just gonna sit in a park. Psychotic behavior. That looks scary. It's actually pretty grippy. I'm sure your boots get in there. Can't. You can't. I can't. Hold on to me. Uh oh. Yeah. It's pretty grippy. That was easy. Why'd you even make it a big deal? spot we found while we're waiting for this to kick in is actually very beautiful. It's like a little park overlooking the city and the city is not that pretty down there but from afar looks like twinkly. And then we got some mountains in the background. It's pretty. I'm like describing the scenery. This is a trip advisor review actually. Why is the lighting so weird? But I'm really pleased that we discovered this because it smells nostalgic. It smells like 
fresh cut grass and I feel like I haven't smelled that enough since the pandemic hit. Like I just stopped going to parks. I started doing everything else again, but not going to parks. Why don't we go to parks? Why are you sitting up there? <laughs> look, at you. look at him. Admiring the view. Yeah, at my perch. Mm -hmm. Two Arnold Palmers make them with unsweet tea. Good. And can you also, sorry, can you place the, the coleslaw with toast in both of them? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Don't even worry, you're good. Like three extra sauces. Okay. And that should be good. Ketchup or hot sauce? Hot sauce. Hot please. sauce, please. It's gonna be 24 the first one. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. I was awkwardly recording that because I wanted them to have the order. I mean, I'm sure you heard that. I got a little Arnold Palmy box combo, no coleslaw, extra toast. Clearly the gummies are kicking in because I keep stumbling over my fucking words. Okay, so I'm like, I actually forgot about the extra 200 I took. Who the fuck is I forgot that I posted on Instagram for a sec. Follow my new, okay, what the fuck, I can't talk. I did make a new Instagram, finally, and I feel like you guys should follow it because it's getting lit over there on the gram. <laughs> Thank you, Francis Ray, for hooking us up. You're so welcome. We got the canes, though, and we're heading home, and it is hitting me. It's gonna be, like, lukewarm when I'm home with whatever. I have two things to say to you. Wait, fuck. I don't remember. Fuck. I'm losing it. Okay, also the focus it needs to stop doing that. Let's fix that. Now that's about as focused as we're gonna get. I just put my hand in my lipstick. For the first time ever, I kind of feel like when I was in high school, feels like ancient. Like I've always been like, oh, I was just in high school. And I still kind of feel like that about the end. But like the beginning feels actually a different era. I think social media for sure. I mean, obviously, it makes that so much more pronounced, but damn. 2014, like when I was like a freshman, that is crazy, that is wild. Vine culture, so different from TikTok culture, and we've had musically in between, like, oh. Everything just moves crazy fast. Social media is really the defining culture, is the defining, um, facet of cult. What? I don't know how to say this. Social media defines culture 100% at this point. <laughs> I just keep talking. We're not even at the mukbang. I'm home now. I've anticipated this for what feels like a century. It's been like 30 minutes. The chicken is still warm, the fries are not. Some of them are, which is fine, but there's no reheating fries, no going back, so. I guess we gotta do the whole thumbnail. I should turn off the mood lighting for the thumbnail probably. Oh, maybe I should just keep it like this in general. You gotta do the super dramatic face. Get the food up in the camera. There's technique here. Mm. Mm. I always layer the chicken on the bread. And then I just dip that home. Smother it in the sauce. Mm. I'm always trying to figure out the good ratio. Eating to talking. Maybe I should move you guys. It's possible I'm just high, but I feel like this lip color makes me look like a clown. Okay. It's definitely kicking in more if I get a little silent. I thought I just heard something. I did not, I'm tripping. Mm. Mm. It's 
and wedge time. Brought my cap. Tries to eat everything, this kitten. He was on the street, so he just like was starving out there. And now he's desperate for food. He just ate, like. Lurking. <laughs> I might be tripping, but I feel like I don't even look that faded, which is crazy because <laughs> I'm feeling it. I'd rather have a soggy fry than a crispy one. I just like the softness. Like I don't wanna, the crunch feels too aggressive sometimes. Oh. I'm getting kind of full though. I'm already high but I'm gonna update you guys when it's like full force. I'm a little perplexed because, okay. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, like I am high. I feel like I should be higher. I feel like I'm the dumb bitch who's like, I mean, I should be well past this phase. Like, I'm a grown up, <laughs> am I? I guess. Oh, I'm like moving away so you guys don't look at my trash. Ew. I'm cleaning my room right now. No sheet on the bed either. Um, I don't know why I'm <laughs> exposing myself, but I'm doing laundry right now. What was the original conversation? Oh, so I am an adult, so I shouldn't like fall for the old, I'm not feeling it, take more thing. Cause that's how you get. I mean, I'm already gonna be fucked up, right? Shall we have one more? <laughs> it's just not even gonna change the outcome. There's no point. Yeah, so. Shut up. I already filmed the mukbang, so now if I get way higher, I'm gonna be mad at myself for not waiting. A disclaimer for the beginning of the video. Wait till the end for the crazy stuff. Oh. I need it to focus. Oh. Did we all? No, I ate almost all of them. <laughs> I don't think you understand how fucked you are. The thing is, it's like you just ate, so it's gonna finally kick in, like fully. Yes, like I literally told you exactly this. Like I swear to God, before this, I was like, like if you take edibles on an empty stomach, like yeah, it'll hit you, <laughs> but like half of the degree. But then once you eat, it'll fucking just all hit you. It'll before. annihilate you, bro. He said. Dude. He said that shit's gonna go ham. You gotta be crazy, baby. <laughs> be crazy, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's my tutter! Yay! Look how perfect he is. Look at you. You look like a cartoon, bitch. You really do. This joint looks steep as a bitch. There's a moth in here. We have a little friend. I choose to think you are my spirit guide. You know, I found an owl feather on my porch, too. Is it dry? It's not the sheet.
Wait, what? I took... I may have not done any of the laundry I thought I did. This performance is based on my favorite TikTok of the moment. Ain't nothing but a hound dog. Grind of <laughs> Grind all the time. Ain't no friend of mine. Are you just in your fucking underwear? Are you just in boxers? This man's whole legs are out. I mean, that's objectively like the funniest song in the world if you sing it like that. Don't take out the headband. Oh, you, oh, you're recentering the headband. Good shit, good shit. If you start only seeing me from the shoulders up. Oh my god, my cat. Ah, he's chewing it. Focus. If you... Okay, English, babe. English, it's your first language and only. Um, but if, 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 if you start only seeing me from this, from here up, it's probably because I'm in the nude. I feel like I prioritized this sentence way too much. Like, well, I didn't because I was just gonna say it, but then I kept getting distracted and I started over like six times. Like, yeah, I was like really excited or was like really had to tell you that I'm gonna be naked. Um, and I don't like that. Can we go to 7-Eleven? Oh, sorry. I mean, I kind of want snacks, and I kind of want to watch a movie. Right now? <gasps> okay. I was gonna get naked, but now we're getting snacks. See, things change so quickly. <laughs> Life is so unpredictable. I hate my personality. Send help. Really? I say things, and I'm like, huh. That was weird. <laughs> and then I just go with it. Okay, why am I still recording? Who really comes here and is like, let's get red box? I mean, maybe for like video games. I feel like that's what keeps them in business for like Do they old school have video games? Yeah. First thing I see, bro. I'm like, yep. Yeah. Yeah. There's this guy at my high school, and I brought this to school one time, and this motherfucker had the deepest voice I've ever heard on anybody. And I whipped this out, and I was like, you want some? He was like, in the deepest voice, he was like, big league choo in the classroom and it literally just like echoed throughout the whole thing and it was the funniest shit and I still think about it today. <laughs> I feel like you would be so validated to know you still think about that. You oh should my. comment Big League Chew. <laughs> <laughs> I think you would, I don't know if you would remember that to be honest. Probably not. He had like a lot of lines. I doubt so like... that was like monumental <laughs> to him but it's us. It's crazy what people remember you for that you don't even remember. Like he doesn't know he's Big League Chew guy. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, he's more than Big League Chew. No, he's just Big League Chew. Okay. That's it. That's all. Zip. Nada. Zilch. We just interacted with the person who was cashiering. And Cole actually had seen them before and knew them. And so we like said hi. And had a little interaction. Um, if, if they see this hi, you're cool. So you're like, yeah, I fucking smoke weed on YouTube. Honestly, the way you said it, that was so shameless. She's like, I smoke weed too, so I'll check you <laughs> Well, okay, but it didn't come, I didn't just announce it. But I just don't want them to think that I was just like, oh yeah, guess what? I fucking smoke on YouTube. <laughs> no, because she was like, oh, do you do vlogs? Because I have my camera. Imagine I did do that though. I walk into the 7-Eleven, I go, yeah. I'm just having a long day smoking weed on YouTube. <laughs> 7-Eleven haul. This is the worst thing I've ever fucking seen. Okay, well I'm not eating these right now, but I wanted Fruity Pebbles and Crunch Berries because those little things remind me of being at hotels, like the breakfasts in the morning, the complimentary breakfasts. Snickers ice cream bar. You obviously saw the Sour Patch Kids and the Gushers. Stop, don't. Disgusting. This is actually foul. I'm not gonna eat all this. When I'm this high, I love a little selection. It's like a little smorgasbord. I sample everything. Is it gas? This was the best thing Sarah Posh Kid ever did. For sure. <laughs> it's time for me to watch a movie, eat a bunch of food, and sleep. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that thumbs up, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.